puncture this inflation uh, sort of bubble, but I think jury is out on that. Sure. Okay. Uh, all right. Thanks very much, Anuj, uh, for joining in with uh, some of the thoughts on the market today. Let's take that forward with our technical experts. We have Sudarshan Sukhani as well as Bitesh Thakkar joining in with the latest. Uh, gentlemen, good morning. Great to have you on the show as always. Let's start with how you have read the pullback. Uh, Sudarshan, your thoughts on the index now and whether it still gives you the comfort to start off with a long trade? Good morning. Well, yesterday when we had that morning gap down, I had said we should buy the gap down because this is a buy on dips opportunity. So that view continues. The market, the Nifty is in a short term uptrend and we want to be only long in this market, not take the other side of the trade. Now, there are some days when the markets become choppy. So that doesn't mean that the buy trade is not existing. It's there. You just identify a proper location when the market is sideways, when there's a correction, intraday correction, and go long if, you, if you're not still long. But the trade now is to look for the Nifty to reach levels somewhere between 17,900 to 18,200, slowly, of course. But then you have to be on the right side of the market to take get that level. All right. Uh, yes, Sudarshan, you did mention yesterday, look to buy the dip, and that worked out brilliantly. We uh, got that. Well, let's uh, hop across to Mitesh. Mitesh, what about you? What's your take on the indices, Nifty and Nifty Bank? Morning, uh, Yesterday morning, again, the idea was that the dip should be bought immediately. And uh, I said that it might still take some effort to get past 17800. I've been highlighting three important factors. One, it is the 61.8% retracement level of the fall from 18,130 to about 17,255. Two, there's a gap down, and three, they're moving averages. So I think uh, the idea is that for now, it remains a buy on dips market. If you get any intraday dips of 50, 60 points, most welcome buying time. But otherwise, aggressive buying can be done if we see a breakout above 17,800. But the, the overall bias is on the positive side. Uh, but since yesterday, we have been, or rather, day before yesterday, we have been having clearly uh, more and more of long calls on the stock side. Even today, I think we've got all uh, four buy calls. So trade with long buys. The only thing is that until 17,800 is crossed, you might have one, two day of intraday volatility, which will give you a better entry point. Hey, uh, what about individual stocks? So, Darshan, good morning. What are you looking at in terms of, uh, you know, the movers in this market? Even if we do break out of this range, right? What, what could be the leaders of the next rally? And purely for today, what are the stocks to watch? Leaders of the next rally will be banks and reliance. So, and I think the IT will slowly participate. So, you know the names. The best companies are always leading. That's not going to change this time. Now, for today, I think Dabur is an intraday short, and that's my only short sell. Dabur is an intraday short. It's been falling. It's not. It's underperforming. So, just look to go short with a stop over 537. Hind Petro is a buying opportunity. That stock is just perhaps completing a correction. Buy with a stop under 215. NBCC is a buy. NBCC is a low price share, but it's a PSU. It seems to be giving the sense that it's now ready for a big move on the upside. Buy with a stop under 34.5. And Reliance continues to be a buying opportunity. Uh, I don't give a stop for Reliance because you have to take this as a positional trade. So if you have an intraday correction or dip, mm. which is possible today, go and buy mm. Reliance. Okay. All right. Uh, Sudarshan, Mitesh, what about you? Individual stocks? I have all uh, four buy calls today. I should Motors looks like uh, it's completed a correction and now is uh, mm. uh, on the verge of giving a good, strong uh, reversal and a pullback. So that's a buy with a stop at 31.74 for a first target of 32.60. A buy on Indian hotels. Uh, here, I would recommend a stop at 321. Look for 340 as the near-term target. Uh, Bosch is something which I've recommended earlier as well. Uh, at current levels, it's broken out of a consolidation. So fresh buy with a stop at 18,400 for targets of 19,500. And Petronet uh, had some kind of a good uh, positive price volume action yesterday. Could see follow through. That's a buy with a stop at 225 for targets of 240. All right, gentlemen, got that. We will take a very, very quick break on that note. Uh, come back on the other side. We'll have the pre-opening rates. Also, we'll be joined by Nishchint uh, Chaute of Kotak Institutional Equities. We'll talk about the insurance sector numbers, the latest ones for the month of February in just a bit.